you guys. So we're going to a Cars and Coffee today. It's the first Cars and Coffee ever since the pandemic. So everybody's excited. Everybody's gonna go. I'm in a rush to grab my friend. Um, her name is Nina. She's like just starting to get into cars. So I'm gonna bring her to the Cars and Coffee. And Grant's dad's taking the Cuda and Grant's taking the Mustang. And we're all gonna convoy to the racetrack and one concourse. Hi, can I get a small ice cap with a shot of mocha? What is up, CG family? Me and my dad are on our way to pick up the Cuda right now from storage. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be allowed to show you guys around the cars in there because it's a hidden location and the owners of the cars don't want their cars posted online a lot of the time, so I have to respect that. But I'm excited to go get uh, my baby number one, ooh, number two, Christina, your number one. My baby number two out, and I'll let you know when we get there. We made it to the Cuda's location. You too, man. So we're ready to go. Uh, it's my first time being here, but we got both cars out and we're going to hit M1. So that was my first time going to that storage place. And I've never been there before, my dad has. So as I thought, you aren't allowed to show or put it online, I guess, the cars. But literally all the cars in the storage unit were covered, so you guys didn't miss out on much. So what's really cool about this storage place, and one of the main reasons we picked it is because it has technology that keeps the air inside at the right humidity percentage. So it's not too humid where a car will oxidize, it's not too dry where uh, the leather on a vehicle uh, will dry up or get ruined or other reasons. But that's a pretty fun fact. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, but we got the Cuda, obviously. And uh, I'm excited. We're going to go put some racing fuel in it and meet up with Christina and go to M1 Concourse. Well, this is a great combination. Hop some sports cars. Who doesn't like that? to get racing fuel and car after car are passing us and mind you we're not even close to m1 right now but all these cars are going to m1 and we already had a 50th anniversary gtr and a couple other sweet rides passed so we made it to the gas station off of orchard lake racing fuel is right there it's old-fashioned just like the cars and look how beautiful they are together it's like father and son gold right there that's crazy it's almost ten dollars a gallon. So we just spent seventy dollars on only eight gallons of fuel. That's how much racing fuel is. But this car doesn't run well if it doesn't have octane boost in it or racing fuel. We prefer to run racing fuel and keep her treated well. You guys, when I tell you I haven't gotten up this early in forever, like I would still be sleeping for another four or five hours right now. All right, so we just filled up the Beast, and we're on our way to LBI to meet up Christina and her friend. And from there, we're gonna go to M1, which is right down the street. Look at that, new Supra, or not the new Supra, old Supra, and a Camaro. So, we met up at LBI and we got Christina, me, and my dad right there. And if you guys don't know, LBI is a retro like supercar dealership in the middle of downtown Pontiac. You can see we got a Viper GTS here, another GTS R, and there's a lot of cool stuff inside. You can see that, but it's an old GT3 right there. Uh, what else we got? We got an old Bugatti, like a really old Bugatti um, right there. They've had that for the longest time. Looks like a GT2, an old Gallardo. That is LBI Limited. If you haven't checked it out, come out here. They have a lot of car events. It's really cool, but I just see tons of cars driving by on Woodward going to M1. So let's try and go get a good spot there. So we made it to M1. Usually the line goes out and all the way down to Woodward, but we beat the traffic, thank God. We got a cop there regulating. So this is very exciting. First event out of the virus. 
we're here. We made it. There's the units. I'm sure you guys are familiar with M1 Concourse if you're familiar with this channel. There's been quite a few videos on the units. If you haven't seen those, I would suggest checking those out because those are awesome videos. So we're here, guys. This is my first M1 meet with the Z. I'm like so excited. It's a special moment. Back there getting compliments on the Cuda. Hey, Dad got VIP parking. Okay, I don't know. I just had a moment of pride there because like, the Cuda got VIP park. I mean, it's gonna overheat if it waits in this long line, but that's sweet. What can I say? Gets to park in the burnout pit. But if some of you guys aren't familiar with the M1 race track, so obviously we're literally on the track right now, and people, um, as you guys can see, um, back into their spots all around the racetrack. So almost 2,000 people are gonna be here, which is crazy to think about. But luckily, it's a wide open space. So, dog, what? She's asking for his number. <laughs> Because <laughs> she needs help on her own. <laughs> so we made it. This is Nina, by the way. All the cars are pulling in. I don't know. Grant wanted to park here because he wanted to be special. Look at all those chickens. So there's the VIP parking in the pit. Cars are still pulling in, but they're all going over there being redirected. So yeah, as you guys can see, we have way more cars to loop around the whole racetrack. Things you see at M1. <laughs> yeah, I wish I would have brought my. That's, that's got a Hemi in it for sure. I'm gonna upgrade to this one day, and you can count on it. Wow, it's the Z gang, I guess. We should have parked down here or something. Usually, M1's Cars and Coffee stops at right here, but there's so many people here this time, it goes all the way down. Holy smokes, guys, this is crazy, you guys. We got the new DBE GTR here and the 850i. That's a beautiful car. I love the color and the finish and the rims. The ratio of the sidewall is perfect. Everything about it is beautiful. Still got carbon fibers. Crazy about these, the grill is, you can see there's no airflow. And you can see my reflection. And it actually opens up once you start driving so that you can get air into the engine. Here's the back of them. These are both gonna be in my garage in the future, or in me and Christina's garage. This is how it's gonna be. We're gonna have my Mustang, and then we're gonna have the 850i, and then a GTR, and that's gonna be our first three cars. <laughs> so these are the units back here, and this is the CAR, and it has the new Z06 engine that has yet to be released. This is Chad Z011LE, and he actually just installed this spoiler last night, and it generates so much downforce on the trunk that it can actually crease and damage the trunk. So it came with a huge plate that's made out of carbon fiber that's actually inside of the trunk to prevent that from happening. Okay. That's, no, that sounds great. Even for a cold start. <laughs> this is a modern Challenger converted to look like a 70 Cuda. And it's got a V10 inside of the hood, which is crazy. Look at that, they got the centerpiece, just like mine. They got the same hood as mine. They got the same tail lights. That's pretty sweet if you ask me. The only thing different is they got two more cylinders in the engine. My buddy Pete's uh, Ford GT. It's really tricked out. It's got like LED lights under it. You'll see them on Woodward, I'm sure. This is the Ford GT that was following me in the rally. 
um, for the Graceful Gears Rally, Smurf GT. Both of these are owned by him. Uh, oh, six and the new Ford GT. Yo, Ryan's Audi, shout out Ryan, the V10, I love him. And we got a Urus parked right next to him. And then next to that is his dad's Mercedes. <laughs> to uh, one of our trips to San Francisco. Yeah. We stayed at a hotel, a resort, and they had all these electrices for uh, the guests to drive. Whenever they wanted? Whenever they want. So For, for when, how long? I think you could have it for like four to five hours. Oh, wow. That's so anytime awesome. we went anywhere, we would just go pick up the keys to one of these Lexuses and go. Do you take the LC500? Yeah. You Actually, drove, you had some pictures. You there. drove that? Yeah. What? We went to uh, Whole Foods. <laughs> In, <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Look at the RCF right there. That's a really sweet one with the wing. So we got more Ford GTs and we got the new GT500. Pretty sweet. Damn, guys, check this Evo out. It's the lamb. So this is Brad's uh, unit. He was the former owner of M1. And speak of Brad and his son, Testarossa for me. I ran into Christina, we split up for a minute. <laughs> and if you haven't seen our Graceful Gears rally, his Supra was on the rally, so you should go check that out. We'll check this wide body out on a Corvette. <laughs> Not sure if it's a uh, cardboard or something, but hey, it's looking pretty mean. <laughs> Guys, this R8 is so sweet. I'm digging the yellow headlights. Me. I want to come in the VIP. So guys, if you didn't know, the middle of the racetrack is considered the VIP section. I don't really know how to get in here, but I'm going to try next time. <laughs> so we got the Testarossa, a nice R8 with a really nice front lip. I don't know what's going on with the front. And then we got the SLS. Not really digging the rims, but hey, not mine. <laughs> so they have a Daytona kit car here. And I've seen one of the seven original Daytonas in Arizona and I secretly filmed it. So if you haven't seen that vlog, I would suggest going to check that out because that's an awesome video. We also have the new Supra right here. And this is just such a big event. I was expecting it to be a little bit uh, less people just because of the virus. But, you know, I feel like people have been deprived of car shows for so long that everybody came out. We got a beautiful 240 right here. Beautiful BMW, 5 Series, a 370, Hawkeye. Yeah, and everybody's leaving right now, it's 11 o'clock. They shortened it by an hour just to compromise because of COVID. So, we came to an end. As you can see, the racetrack is empty. <laughs> First one's here, last one's out as always. Yep. <laughs> Check it out, my car. <laughs> All right, so Chris brought the GTI and we're parked here. We came to an end for the last cars here. They have to go. She's taking her friend Nina to work, but it was a very successful event. Chris, you have fun? Oh yeah, definitely. Awesome time today. So we're gonna go home for about five hours and then we're gonna hit up Woodward Avenue because everybody's gonna be out tonight. Look at that beautiful RSX at the exit. I've never been a fan of RSXs that much. I've respected them, but that is clean right there. I'm a daredevil. Dad, I'm sorry if you're watching this. So we made it back home, and five more hours we're gonna be on one road. Oh wow, Dad, could you have parked any closer to the wall? Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a little bit uh, risky for me. I don't know if I'm liking that. All right, so it's five hours later now, and I'm heading to Woodward to meet up with Christina, and we're just gonna cruise, sit down, and watch some nice cars drive by. I heard Woodward's supposed to be packed today. Hi, Veronica. So we finally caught up with each other. The Gallardo, Ford GT, R8. Wow, C8 Corvette. Another C8 Corvette. Damn, GT500. GT500. It just keeps going, folks. <laughs> that spoiler looks mean. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Oh. 
That's a beautiful spec on that Porsche. It's not like too much or anything. It's just nice rims and a nice solid color. And that's even better. That's our baby Porsche. So we got Chrissy and Aston at a 240SX. Who's gonna win? Okay, I'm just kidding. It's clearly the 350Z. Say what up, little Roki. Hey. So we're here at the gas station. My forehead is shining bright like a diamond. So we're out here eating on and the this spoiler. Is why we got a spoiler. Just to eat on. Look at Mustang Club. Look at that wrap. That's an awesome wrap. Batmobile again. That's crazy. The boy Roman's pulling up. Go check him out. Scary scat. Oh look who it is. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> You're gonna be on, on YouTube, bro. You're going on YouTube. Not going on YouTube. Oh, we on YouTube. You on the you on the YouTube now. <laughs> Yo, these are my high school friends, oh, but this yeah. is uh, Brendan's whip, and Casey drives a lime green uh, Daytona. So we got the whole entire family here with us. Everybody's here. Nobody's really social distancing except me, because I don't know. But our good friend Nora just pulled up in her competition M3. This is a beautiful BMW. She's got carbon fiber diffuser, uh, ceramic coated rims, and a white interior, which is like the best part of the entire car. It's such an aggressive looking thing. And one day, I'm gonna buy this car. Everyone yeah, crazy Everybody back to this now, all the way back up, all the way down the road. And it's still like a whole two months before the dream cruise. Look it, they got a Plymouth Superbird right there. Look, right there. Oh wow! That's awesome. Oh, I like the picture. Oh, Super We're probably gonna hit the road in another couple minutes or so, so we'll see. Nino likes laughing when I vlog. You know, that's his deal. Most people do, but the Look, we got two tone, we got a GTS, we got a Supra right there, we got a flat nose Porsche, which is very rare. So now everybody's cruising to Little Caesars. We're grabbing a pizza and we're gonna hang out in the parking garage. All these people lined up on the street. This is crazy. Look at Jay's whip. Jay's whip is not his whip, but it's his whip. This is one of the most nicely spec ACR Vipers I've ever seen. This is gorgeous. Look at this girl. What are... Anyways, we made it to the parking garage um, near Hunter House. The sun is setting and the whole family is here and we still have more of our family members pulling up as you can tell. So this is a really fun match, really relaxing and I'm just more than happy to be with everybody. Dang! Mitch pulled up with the new wrap and we're like 10 cars deep right now. This is awesome. He has no front bumper because he's still wrapping his car. I know it's a nice color, isn't it? Hey look. It's a cute color. She's a, she describes it as cute. <laughs> so damn near everybody on Woodward has pulled up. We got all the cars lined up here. We're all kind of just talking and vibing up here. <laughs> She's about to beat up cheesy. Because you don't know how to drive. Oh! What? Oh, you can't say that's fair. You got to hit him back with something. <laughs> Say, oh, I don't know how to drive, or you don't know how to speak, or something, you know what I mean? Like, oh, man, that one hurt too. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, bro. collateral damage Wait, wait, do that spin around, let's see it. Let's see it. Ooh, okay, Sears, all right. Hit that. Hey, oh, 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 okay. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> Mr. McSweeney, I have a delivery for you. Yeah. It's press. <laughs> oh, it's <perfect. laughs> oh. They're really it's like a manicure. eating their hands. <laughs> what the hell? Oh anyway, this wrap is inspired by Baja Blast from Taco Bell. And this is his new Instagram username. We got beautiful sunset still. We got a Gallardo engine right here. There's a whole bunch going on. Olivia's in shorts for some reason. I don't know what's happening, but we're vibing up here. <laughs> got a GTR pulling up. RS Forester. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. The cops are here. He's playing bad boys. Hey, you guys are here. No balls. Oh, oh, hey, What's his force? Hey, that has to be a cop. Why is he whipping so hard? Oh, oh. Hit that! Hit it! Do it! Hit that! Hey! Hey! What? I'm just vibing. Thank you, Habibi. Since literally the rally, I did. Hold on, that's like our What's up? <laughs> Y'all looking great. What can I say? I, I mean, it's a video. Oh, damn. We just sat here for like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> No, this is an awesome new rap, man. They're in the car. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, bro? You got the... Dude, I, my hands are shaking with just... Oh, God. What are you... Get the f*** off. Stop. <gasps> I know your heart just jumped. <laughs> See, if you died right there, that would have been my fault. Okay, no, for real. Can you get your boyfriend, bro? What's your Instagram? Or cheesy. Okay. Cheesy. <laughs> no, ugly man. <laughs> <Her cheese>. oh! <laughs> no, man. Oh, man. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> Luckily, the cops are here, so they can settle this down. <laughs> Guys, tell her I sent you. No, she deserves to follow because she's got friends to watch. Well, I deserve to follow. Hold up, hold up. Oh, we got Darren. Darren. 